father said she was nice. Mrs. Lowe Verde is her name, an Italian name. Does she understand English? Of course she understands English. Your father would have said if it was otherwise. Who is the boy? Hmm. Aaron said there was a younger brother. That must be him. Okay, now Sarah is the wife. Uh, the knockout is Roseanne. Martha's the young one. And there should be a boy around here somewhere. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, can't blame you for wanting him out. Doing your laundry, hanging it out to dry. Talk about thoughtless. What'd you say the oldest girl's name was? Oh, Mrs. Miller. Hi, I would like you to meet my mother, Connie. Oh, hi. How, How do you do? do? Welcome, Mrs. Hello. Miller. Hello. Hi. Um, I'd place. like you to meet my daughter. This hi. is Martha. Hello. This is Loverde. And this is Roseanne. What a beauty. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Nice to meet this you. This is oh. Mickey, my son. Hello. Hi. 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 Sorry about that. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. oh, Mrs. Miller, this is all really wonderful, but um, it's completely unnecessary. Oh, for family, it should be more than what is necessary, I think. Necessary is as little as can be, and we want to do as much. No, what I mean is that uh, we have a dryer that could have done all of this. Oh. Well, I I've smelled sheep that come out of a dryer, and they smell like they come out of a dryer. So where is your son? I know that my mom would really love to meet him. Oh, he's around the back of the house washing the dog. He was very muddy. <laughs> Mrs. Miller, I don't have a dog. What's his name? Prince has a nice ring to it. Try that. Okay, so maybe it's not Prince. When skin's unbalanced, it's written all over your face. Dry here, oily there. Daily washing with Spizoderm helps keep your skin in natural balance. Spizoderm deep cleans and moisturizes so your skin's not too oily, not too dry. Give your skin special care with Spizoderm for the natural balance that's written all over your face. To see how a bathroom gets this shiny clean, you have to go back to the beginning. To new formula Lysol Basin Tub and Tile Cleaner. Lysol has the power to cut through dirt and soap scum, and it disinfects. Try new fresh scent Lysol. It's how the shiniest bathrooms get their start. Well, I wouldn't even trade a whole warehouse full of other air fresheners for my Lysol spray. Ordinary air fresheners just cover up the smell, but the Lysol spray kills the germs on surfaces and it cleans the air. I love it. There is nothing that works better. Truly, I would not live without my Lysol spray. Cleans the air. Is he okay? Yeah. Peanuts, get your fresh roasted peanuts. Two. Want some peanuts? Yeah. Remember fresh roasted peanuts? One whiff, and you knew how good they taste. They're so good. If you think that fresh taste is a thing of the past, you should try Planters Dry Roasted Peanuts. They're so fresh, so flavorful. They taste like they're peanuts, fresh from the roaster. Get your fresh roasted peanuts. Planters Nuts. That old-time goodness lives on. I love to see you blush. Introducing Blush Chablis. Smile is fine. Any time, but I love to see you. Love to see you blush. Like it's that. the beautiful new wine from Gallo that captures With what a blush is that. all about. One more time. New Gallo Blush Chablis. It's what happens when a white wine decides to blush. I love to see you blush. Aaron's way will return. Next, a year in the life moves to a new time. They struck. A strike closes down the plant. I'd like us to stay together. A family in crisis. We're not going out.
concern for workers. But as they struggle together, old tensions explode. Quit whining and do it. Why are you talking to me like this? Get the hell out of here. Next, a year in the life at 10, 9, Central and Mountain. This is NBC News Digest. Here is Deborah Norville, NBC News. Good evening. Congressman Jack Kemp has called a Washington news conference for tomorrow. He's expected to announce the end of his presidential campaign. Soviet police foiled an attempted hijacking of an Aeroflot jet, but six people died in the shootout, including two hijackers. Human error apparently caused last night's collision of two Army Black Hawk helicopters over Fort Campbell, Kentucky. All 17 soldiers on board were killed. And despite a growing uproar at Washington's Gallaudet University, officials at the nation's only liberal arts college for the deaf are firm in their decision to hire a president who is not deaf. I'm Deborah Norville in New York. More news later on this NBC station. Fred Rogan, sports. Fritz Coleman, weather. Puck, hockey. Shot after shot after shot of who in the world did what in the world of sports. If it slides, scores, or lights up the sky, nobody shows it to you like Freddy Boom Boom Rogan. Fritz, on the other hand, is the Prince of Weather. Fritz and Fred, good sports through all kinds of weather. Fried shrimp, please. Shrimp cocktail, please. all those people who never get enough shrimp, now you will. Introducing the new all-you-can-eat shrimp and seafood bar at Bob. All the peel-and-eat shrimp, all the fried shrimp, and a whole lot more for just $8.95 at Big Boy. Finally, enough shrimp. Out of this world, Thursday night at 7.30 on Channel 4. much better at this than I am. You look fine. I look fine, Papa. All right. Go downstairs and see if there's something you can do to help with supper. Sarah. That has never happened to me in my life before, Aaron. Maybe it is just their way I of offered to help with the meal. And she says, no, thank you. I don't need you to do anything. Perhaps it is just a If a cow was as great with calf as that woman is with child, you'd be sleeping in the barn at night, and you know it. She doesn't want my help because she does not want us here. I did not think we're people who stayed in a place where we are not wanted. We are not people who intrude, I think. But perhaps I am wrong. Or perhaps you are wrong. Dinner's ready any time if you want to come on down. Thank you. And I was wondering if after dinner you'd mind if I took your kids on into town, fed them a tasty freeze, and maybe went to the drive-in. Uh, tasty freeze is an ice cream kind of dessert, and a drive-in... I know what a drive-in is. They have them in Pennsylvania. Of course they do. I'm sorry. It's just that I think I know that you two and Susanna will have a lot of things to talk about, and it might go a lot easier if the kids were out of the way for that. You are right about that. I thank you for thinking of it. Uh, Mrs. Miller? Yes. You know how to fix Scrapple? Yes, I know how. Well, I've never had it, don't even know what's in it, which is probably just as well. But it's always sounded so country and hearty. Do you suppose you could whip up a batch tomorrow morning for breakfast? Well, if you have the fixings. Tell you what, there's a market in town that stays open to midnight. Why don't you come on in with me and your kids, see the movie with us, and we'll go shopping after. Would you mind if I wasn't there when you and Susanna talk? If we come to some kind of understanding. Don't you want to be a part of it? Well, if you and Susanna reach some kind of understanding, you are my husband, and I will be part of that understanding. June Allison, what? Beg your pardon? Dinner is probably getting cold. We better get downstairs. You have made a deadly mistake in coming here, and you will pay. The eagle needs no permission from a sparrow. You invade my world, and I will give my will is not so weak. I do not flee from Fred. There are no threats here for you. There is a promise of pain and humiliation. You will be 
Don't worry, the good guys always win. In the movie films, yeah. questioning your motives. I know that you only want to help, but I don't think I'm going to need your help. You know, my mother, she's going to move in when it comes time to having the baby. Blue is going to be back in time for the harvest. There is something uh, about Blue that I... That drives you bonkers, I'm sure. I'm, I don't mean because of your religion. You are a very organized man, and Blue gives the impression of being very much of a flake. Susanna, I am going to try and say this as carefully as I can. Blue is fine. He's being taken care of by good people. But he is not going to be back here in time for the harvest. And why is that? How did he get in this fight? He was defending me. He was defending you. Susanna, Blue will not be here on time. And you still do not want us to stay here and help. Mr. Miller, do you know why your son and I never got married? Even after we knew that I was pregnant? No. Because the one thing that I value more than anything on the face of this earth is my independence. And as much as I love Noah, God, I loved him. He, he was a certain kind of guy raised in a certain way by very good and decent people who just might try to control me. And I will not have that. Not by anyone. Not even by the grandfather of this baby I'm carrying. You are a proud woman. Believe it. Puts me in mind of three uncles I had when I was a boy. One of those uncles had a big stud bull. When he died, the other two uncles were given the task of dividing up his goods. And everything went well until it came to that big stud bull. And they fought and fought about it. And neither of them wanted to sell it. And they couldn't bring themselves to let one uncle keep it in his pasture for six months and the other uncle in his pasture for six months. And they argued for a long time. Finally, one uncle took the lead rope of that big bull, threw it down into the mud. They looked at the other uncle and they said, if you want that animal bad enough to get down on your hands and knees here in the mud in front of me, then go ahead and do it. And that's exactly what the other uncle did. And he walked away with the bull. First uncle was left with his precious pride second uncle ended up with a mighty fine stud bull. Good night, Susanna. Sleep well. your talk with Susanna? Mm, like throwing a pebble in a pond. I must wait and see how far the ripples go. Frank and Martha were asleep as soon as their heads touched the pillow. <laughs> and Roseanne? Well, she's not back yet. And Mickey offered to take her for a ride in the truck. Three. <laughs> We're just what you did, but backwards. Okay. 
That part needs a little work. Are you okay? Beautiful. <laughs> Maybe we better head on back. I think so, yeah. in a rut. But we'll be okay. We'll get out of it, no problem. Just take a little time, but we'll be okay. No biggie. Mickey? Biggie. Sleep well. Good night, Papa. Good night, Mr. Miller. Mickey? Yes, sir. Is there anything in the world that I could say to you to help you understand how important my children are to me? And with what anger I would view anyone who endangered them? Is there anything that I could say to help you understand that? Yes, I'm sure there is. Yes, sir. Consider it said. Peace and quiet are not part of this job. Headaches are. I used to take aspirin or Tylenol, but today my choice is Advil. My doctor told me to try Advil. He said it contains the same medicine as in the prescription brand Motrin. Just one Advil is as effective as two regular aspirin. Advil gets rid of my headaches, and it's gentler to my stomach than aspirin. For headaches, Advil. Tablets and caplets. Advanced medicine for pain. To deal with dandruff, I need help. The more, the better. That's why I now use new extra strength Danorex with 39% more dandruff medicine. For my dandruff and itch, I get 39% more medicine in new extra strength Danorex. For great looking hair, I can't get too much of a good thing. It's a beautiful morning. Having a beautiful morning doesn't require a beautiful morning. Because with McDonald's breakfast sandwiches, people can hold a little bit of sunshine right in their hands. In fact, a taste for McDonald's sizzling bacon, fresh cracked eggs, homemade biscuits, and hot McMuffins draws more people out of their homes than any other. Of course, you don't need bad weather to have a beautiful morning. McDonald's, America's morning place. You can keep on moving with quick old timers versus Central High. Okay, youngster, you can keep it goodbye. Dang. Round in the basement. Catch those with her snappers faces. Chocolate, peanut butter, satisfaction. Life is a cookie, let you stay in the action. Won't slow you down. When you gotta get around. Quick, let's show them what you can do. Try no home. When you breathe, skidoo, do, do, do. Keep on, keep on moving with quick. Arnie's up for grabs. But is he buying trouble? I intend to get my money's worth. L.A. Law, Thursday.
next at a new time. It's the best I can do. They struck. When a strike closes the plant, the family struggles to save the business. A year in the life, next at 10, 9, Central of the Mountain. What's America's favorite show? That's us. You guessed it. The Cosby Show. No, little birdie too. Cosby, Thursday at 8 on Channel 4. During the 70s and the early 80s, one car maker produced a nameplate that would become America's favorite. Now, with the introduction of the all-new Cutlass Supreme, it is expected that one car will become that again. And wouldn't you know, that car would be Oldsmobile. The Near East story began about 30 years ago at Hannah Collagian's diner. Now, the taste of her traditional rice pilaf recipe is catching on all over America. Which is why we've made our first TV commercial. Because people always ask, where does something like this come from? The Hugh Hefner palimony suit is heating up. We'll get into it at 11. on before. It's not your fault. How could you have known? Besides, the scrapple was great. I definitely want that recipe. Hello? Hello? Make a choice. You want to be obscene or not heard? Adios. Mom, give me a hand. Who's on the phone? Johnny Belinda. Didn't leave a message. You know, I didn't have any of that scrapple. Was it really good? New Bellard. I can see why Mr. Miller decided he had other fish to fry. In fairness, he did say he had to skip breakfast because he wanted to see the vineyard. But grant him this, he does seem to be a worker. <laughs> <laughs> From your nose to the horizon. All my. From our heels to the tree line, Susanna, until she said to me, of course. I have not heard Susanna talk of selling. I do not think it is foremost in her mind. My friend, if the Vendemia grape harvest comes near, she will think of nothing else. How long are you saying? What is this? Gulliver the Great. For years we have toiled together, this beast and I. Him the muscle, I the brain. <laughs> then the machines come, and this beast retires. Now he goes where he wants. The land is his, and I merely his humble servant. <laughs> <laughs> Gulliver, an appropriate name from a book I read once. A good book, not the Bible, but a good book. Mr. Miller, a question, and how you answer could change life forever. Mr. Miller, would you be interested to learn to drive this machine? Well... Anything I've done can be undone except for that little piece I took off in the back. If you want it back the way it was, just say the word. I'm not sure. 
Let me get a refill on this brick, and you can make up your mind when I get back. How's the ice cream? Good. Mama, what is a delt? A delt? Or an ab. Or a quad. Frank, where are you finding all these words? There is a magazine in Mickey's room. And it's called Puffing to the Max. The Max? And it has pictures of sweaty men in colored underpants. And the stories are all about quads and abs and laps and things pictures like that. Pictures of sweaty men in colored underpants? I can get it for you when we get back. No, that will be fine. I take your word for it. And there are pictures of ladies, too. But they don't have any... They don't have any... What? But they don't have any of the soft parts. They don't look like you at all. You've got all your soft parts. Well, I take that as a compliment, Frank. Thank you very much. He's watching you. What the kids are wearing today, Mrs. Miller. I, I, get, I actually should try it. Frank, buddy, can I level with you? Oh, that means, like, be honest. I think it's the hat. Something is wrong with my hat? Well, not exactly, no. But, well, it's a hat. I mean, how many guys do you see walking down the street wearing a hat? There's cops and construction workers, right? That's about it. You follow me? Well, my mother made this hat. And she did a really good job of it, too. Real good, from what I know of hats. But... Take it off. What I mean is... You